In this Ironmind Lab 6 video tutorial, I will demonstrate how you can use the filter tool to view information on your map. You can find the filter tool in the lower toolbar next to the zoom slider or in the view menu under apply filter. The filter dialog allows you to filter on certain criteria, including icons, task information, links, notes and branch text. As you can see, my map has a few icons. I have my filter icons as a sad smiley face icon. To do this, you simply click filter. Now you can see the only remaining branches are the ones with a sad smiley face icon. Once you have filtered your map, you can clear the filter by either going to the view menu and clicking clear filter, or you will notice that the button in the lower toolbar has now changed to remove filter. The filter dialog also allows you to combine filters so you can search for more than one thing or combine filters to be more precise. You can add a filter by clicking on the plus icon. Now I'm going to filter my sad smiley face icons and branch text that says right. As you can see, both of these branches are now still visible. And this branch says right. This is because the filter type I have chosen is any filter. This means that any branches that match either of these filters will be kept in the map. However, if I switch this to all filters, the branches now have all filters at the same time which means only this branch has both sad smiley face icon and the text saying right. To remove a filter, simply click the minus icon next to the filter. You will notice for each filter that you have a condition box. You can change this depending on your field value. For icon, you can choose equals, not equals, any or none. Choosing any by clicking filter will display any branch that has any icon, regardless of what icon that is. You can also change what you want to do with your filter results by changing the top drop down in the filter dialog. By default, it's set as show matching branches and its parents. However, there are four options in here which give you different results. For example, if I choose hide matching branches and its parents, the filter matches will be hidden along with the parents. So I will now filter using hide matching branches and its parents for any icon, which will hide any branches with an icon. As you can see, leaving the rest of your branches still visible on your map. 